good morning students today we will have a discussion on module 3 which deals with demographic concepts myself sulfat the first concept we are going to deal with is mortality mortality is a variable which affect the studies of population in a society mortality is that branch of demographic analysis which deals with the total process of deaths and changes it brings about in a population the health status of a population have an obvious bearing on mortality and hence on population growth it is important as a variable affect the quality of population it is also recognized definition of mortality according to united nations mortality is the percentage of death in a given area in a given time in a given population according to who mortality in societies plays a crucial role and determines the size growth and other changes in population the status of population growth in any society is due to drastic decline in mortality rate rather than increase in fertility rate and causes of mortality in the past mortality rate was very high at that time famine and disease are the most important factors related to high death rate during that period agricultural output was limited by the inefficient methods of cultivation which led to famine and food shortage that leads to death of many people and epidemics were chronic due to lack of proper sanitation facilities and paucity of medical knowledge the occasionally occurring wars also reduced the number of population generally high mortality rates are associated with heavy incidence of infectious and contagious diseases as we know now due to corona virus we are losing many of our valuable lives and socio economic aspects are also influenced the mortality rate of society it is postulated that the improvement in socio economic condition is a prerequisite to mortality reduction insanitary and overcrowded nature of the urban areas also paves way for highest death rates factors in mortality decline economic and social development along with advancement in medical sciences public health measures and improved sanitation are the reasons for the decline in mortality during the recent periods economic development and rapid level of incomes improves the standard of living of the people which resulted in favorable health condition and thus substantial decline in mortality sanitary reform and public health movements were increasingly associated with general improvements in the level of living of the people the introduction of important measures to improve living and working conditions measures to improve the status of people health insurance lic pension schemes the institution of free and universal compulsory schooling social security schemes etc improve the life expectancy of the people related concept of mortality first one is death death is the permanent disappearance of all evidence of life at in time after birth has taken place fetal death when the fertile egg is decayed the formation of the fetal death is called fetal death sorry when the fertile egg is decayed the formation of the fetal is called fetal death if the period of pregnancy is more than 28 weeks the fetal death is still infant mortality children less than 1 year of age is called infant thus the number of infants death under 1 year of age in a given year per 1000 allow birth in that year is called infant mortality 
the risk of death at the stage of infancy is very high so the study of infant mortality gains more attention than that of mortality studies there are a number of factors in infant mortality the factors of infant mortality can be grouped as endogenous components and exogenous components of infant mortality the importance of endogenous components are birth weight gestational age age of mother birth order etc birth weight determines the maturity of the infant at birth chances of the survival of the infant depends on the moderate increase in weight in migration migration is regarded as one of the variable which bring changes in the size and structure of the population of a society migration is not a biological variable whereas fertility and mortality have a biological framework the study of migration occupies an important place in population studies the components such as fertility mortality and migration determine the rate of population growth as well as the characteristics of population in a given group this demographic variables can be considered as a symptom of social change data on the age sex mother tongue income religion residence education occupation of the migrants are useful for social planners and enable them to plan programs in order to solve the problems related to migration the united nations multilingual demographic dictionary define migration is a form of geographical mobility of spatial mobility between one geographical area and another generally involving a change in residence from the place of origin or place of departure to the place of destination or place of arrival such migration is called permanent migration and should be distinguished from other forms of movement which do not involve change of residence migration refers to a move from one definite area to another involving a change of residence the total number of moves made during a given migration period from a common area of origin and a common area of destination are known as migration streams then factors of migration under four group first one is climate second one fertility third flora and fauna fourth one is cultural factors other factors which influence migration are economic factors demographic factors geographical factors social factors political factors religion is also influencing migration then causes of migration generally the main causes for migration is environment economic cultural political social and general physiological and motive so psychological and motivation are also contributed to migration social factors some people migrate for better quality of life or move close to a relative or friend environmental factor means people seek better climatic conditions as a result of natural disaster economic people sometimes move to other places to find out new job and better employment political war and other reason led people to migrate in push and pull factors push factors are those which motivate going outside from within these include high natural rate of population growth creating population pressure on the existing resources exhaustion of natural resources drought flood natural climatic such as earthquakes and famine acute social religious or political conflicts the pull factors on uh, the pull factors on the other hand include those which pull migratory population from outside these factors include establishment of new industries provision of new opportunities of employment facilities of higher education better climatic condition etc the variable of technological change which results in the establishment of a number of attractive factors in urban areas is a very strong pull migration from rural to urban areas 
the modern agricultural machinery frees so many persons from the bondage to agriculture and pushes their migration to urban areas push and pull factors is useful in the study of factors affecting migratory movements effects of migration migration is a major factor for social change the person who migrated from one community to another unite in that individual with other cultures cultural diffusion naturally contributes positively and negatively to the society migration always brings changes in population structure migration induces higher education especially technical education rapid industrial development of the volume of migration received in a country may be very substantial types of migration scholars have explained migration on different perspective it is very difficult to measure the mobility of people within a national boundary movement of people are diverse in nature the purpose duration of movement are also differed internal migration and international migration internal migration is the movement of people within the country for example migration from madras to bombay or people have constantly changing their residence from one town to other for various purposes for marriage occupation etc internal migration means migration from one nation to other or one country to other sources of data concerning internal migration are census sample survey and population registers immigration and emigration the term immigration and emigration refer respectively to movement into or out of particular territories and are used only in connection with international migration in migration and out migration in migration refers to movement of people into a particular area out migration refers to movement out of a particular area this type of migration simply refer to the movement or migration of people from own area to other area for example the migration of people from rural area to urban area or urban area to rural area both referring to movement within a country in gross and net migration gross migration is the sum total of migrants in the country on the other hand net migration means the volume of the total number of persons coming in and the total number of persons leaving out thus it considered as the balance of migrant population you can also check more details on clifford j johnson book on some sociological aspects of migration then also hearly george have another book which on techniques and population analysis then kumar's book on social demography and population studies thank you